Hey there everyone, this is Dan and doing another tabletop review on an outstanding American-made consideration for uh, a conceal and carry weapon. And what we have here is the CAR CW9. Now, in this review I'm going to tell you why it's worth you uh, putting your hard-earned dollars in uh, picking up this weapon if uh, you're in the market for a nice conceal and carry weapon. Now, I'm going to dub this the American Glock. And the reason why I call this pistol the American Glock is, one, you can see the primary similarity. It's a polymer frame pistol. So, and secondly, it's a very simplistic, robust design, just like the Glock. Not a lot of moving parts on it. If you're actually to look up on the exploded diagrams of this particular pistol, you'll see that there's not a lot of parts. That adds to reliability, that adds to durability. And just like with the Glock. Also, it is just a very smooth functioning uh, pistol, striker fire pistol, similar trigger pull. It, it is very much reminiscent of a Glock. Uh, I know a bunch of uh, Glock people out there would probably disagree with me, but you know, I, I'm just throwing that out there as a little, little comparison. Uh, that, that's how I view this particular pistol. Now, let me do a quick safety check right quick. Drop the magazine, see we have nothing in there. Also, pardon the uh, little bit of grime and dirt in there. Just got finished shooting this a little while ago, so uh, it's a little dirty, but everything is uh, clear. So let, let's talk about the magazine. Outstanding magazine, functions well, durable, stainless steel, single stack, seven shot magazine. One uh, other key point to this particular pistol, magazines are readily available. A little bit on the expensive side, uh, well, I shouldn't say on the expensive side, in the mid-range side, about $30, $35 per magazine. Uh, for a seven-shot, you know, that, that's a little bit much in my opinion. But, you know, you can find them, you can get them, you should get it. Now, CAR actually has a very extensive line of firearms to uh, very nice subcompact 380s, 9mm, all the way up to some very nice full-size pistols. Now, the biggest difference between CAR's entry-level line, which is the CW series, and some of their more premium lines, the PMs, uh, the series like that, you have two things. One, the machining. The, on their higher end, you have a little bit better machining, some uh, just a few little accent marks to add to the fit and finish, which even on this uh, model here, the CW9, fit and finish is outstanding. It is very... It's a very well constructed, very well designed pistol. But the biggest difference is the rifling in the barrel. The higher end cars use polygonal bar pardon me, polygonal rifling, which is a smooth rifling which just kind of conforms, twists the bullet a little bit tighter, gives you a little bit of better better function on the rifling, but to be honest, the average shooter is not going to know the difference. This uh, series here uses traditional rifling, so uh, your traditional uh, groove and uh, your traditional groove rifling here, so, you know, if you're willing to spend the extra 200, 250 to get the polygonal bar polygonal rifling, go ahead and do such. But uh, in my personal opinion, I would rather spend that money on taking another self-defense class, uh, getting more magazines, buying some more ammunition, get some more range time, maybe getting a membership to your local shooting range. You know, there, there's something that you could probably do a little bit better with that $200, $250. But if you want the, just the cream of the crop, go ahead and get that. Now, as I mentioned, Fit and finish is phenomenal. It's a very good, very solid, very robust gun. And it's also for as slim of a gun as it is, it, it's very light and it's very comfortable. It, it's a little, you know, you're not going to shoot this all day putting three, four hundred rounds through this in a day. You're, you're going to have a little bit of a sore hand, especially if you have medium sized to large hands like I do. But if you have uh, smaller hands, females, this is a great weapon, and as I mentioned, just another great consideration for a conceal and carry piece. Now, I'm also going to compare this to, if you've watched my videos before, my trusty steed here, the Ruger SR9C. 
and anybody who's watching my videos know that I absolutely love this gun. This is just one of my absolute favorite guns. I'm going to safety check this. This There is a loaded magazine in here as this is my concealed and carry weapon, but I do not have a round in the chamber. And we're clear. I'm going to keep this magazine to the side here. So, now I still prefer my SR9C, but there are some very good points to the car if you're looking for a good conceal and carry weapon. Now, you only get 7 plus 1 shots uh, in, in it with your magazine, would it be in a single stack, but very accurate accuracy makes up for not having a lot of uh, magazine capacity. Now, the biggest difference that you're going to notice is the width. Now the, I'm going to see if I can get this here, but I would say the uh, car is close to a quarter of an inch thinner than the Ruger SR9C. So what does that mean? It means it's going to be a lot comfortable if you're someone like myself who likes to use uh, tuckable in waistband holsters. And uh, it, it's just going to be a little bit more comfortable for you. Now, my SR9C is a very comfortable pistol, but this is going to take that comfort level up a couple of notches. Uh, one, one thing that you'll definitely see is missing from the car is there's no safety. But with a good holster, a holster, a good holster will resolve that issue of not having a safety. So you don't have to worry about that. And just another thing, as you see, there's not a lot of protruding anything on here. You have your takedown lever, your magazine release, that's it. There, there's really not a lot to get caught up to get snagged on anything versus my SR9C which has you know a couple of controls external controls they're just busting out there which you know could be a problem for some people so as far as accessories go as you notice there's no accessory rail I'm gonna cover up the serial number here at the bottom but there's no accessory rail on this but who needs an accessory rail crimson trace laser grips are available for the car series of pistols and uh, holsters, magazines, things of that nature, readily available. So you, you can definitely uh, pick up a lot of good equipment for this. This thing will shoot anything you put through it. And I'm just gonna give you a quick little segue of ammunition I ran through it. So ran through some jacketed hollow points, some good self-defense plus P ammunition, and uh, my two standby ammunitions right here, Fiacci and uh, Aguila ammunition, uh, 124 grain, 115, 147 grain, and another 124 grain. It pretty much chewed this stuff up, spit it out, had a great time. And once again, I want to repeat, zero failures, zero malfunctions. This thing is a beast. So if you're looking for something that is uh, readily available for you, that is uh, a good functioning firearm for conceal and carry, or if you're just a lady that's looking to get a good first pistol or uh, just a good solid pistol, want to represent and help a, uh, an American company, definitely give this uh, pistol a shot. Give it some consideration. It's a good solid pistol, very robust. You're going to find equipment that you need for it. And the most important thing of all, if you do need this for one of those high stress situations, this thing is going to perform for you. And uh, I have without a doubt in my mind that this thing would, uh, this uh, particular pistol will, will uh, defend you if need be. So I'm just going to wrap this up. If you're in the market for, like I said, if you're in the market for a conceal and carry pistol, definitely give Car a look. And just uh, in general, Car is a great American company. They they are a little pricey, I will admit. You can find the CW9 in the four four fifty price range, sometimes five hundred. But you know, cars are going to be a little bit pricier. But quality engineering, quality build, you, you can't go wrong. So this is Dan. Hope this got hope this helped you guys out. Have a good night, guys.